Hello! Welcome back to Summit Tutoring. I am AJ Singh, and today we will be discussing system of linear inequality word problems. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. A restaurant has a small table, S, and a large table, T. Small table seat, 4 people, and large table seat, 8 people. Which inequality shows the maximum? Let's highlight that. Maximum. Number of people, P, that could be seated in the restaurant. So let's try to decode which each of these symbols mean. Okay, so this symbol means that it has to be greater than the maximum, which doesn't make any sense, so we could cancel out D. And C means that it needs to be below the maximum, which kind of what we're getting at, but it could also reach the maximum, so C cannot be correct. And like B, the other side is greater than P, the maximum, or equal to, and that's not the case. The A2 plus 4s must be smaller. So B is not correct. So that leaves us with A. All right. Which of the following numbers is not a solution for the inequality? Okay. So let's plug in the first one, negative 1. So we have 3, negative 1, minus 5, is greater than or equal to 4, negative 1, minus 3. Okay, so let's plug this in. Negative 3, negative 5, 4, negative 1, negative 3. And this would equal negative 7 is smaller than or equal to negative 8. Okay, we know this is not true. This number negative 8 is smaller than negative 7, so this inequality is false. Therefore, A is the one that is not a solution. Okay, on to the next one. In the xy plane, if a point with coordinate a, B lies in the solution set of the system of inequalities above, what is the maximum possible value for B? Okay, well, because it looks like these are, you know, equal to one another, we could just do this. You know, 115x plus 3000 is equal to 5x, because we're trying to find the point of intersection. So let's, let's add 15x to both sides. Twenty x is equal to three thousand, and that is equal to one fifty. Equal to x. Okay, so now we need to plug that number back in to find the b value because the b value represents the y. Okay, so we do five times one fifty, and that will leave us with seven hundred fifty as the B value. So B equals 750. Alright. On to the next one. Roberto is an insurance agent who sells two types of policies. A $50,000 policy and a $100,000 policy. Last month his goal was to sell 57 insurance policies. While he did not meet his goal, the total value is probably sold over 3 million, which of the following systems of inequalities describe X, the possible number of $50,000 policies, and Y, the possible number of $100,000 policies that Roberto sold in last month? Okay, let's highlight the important parts. Okay, so it sells at l his goal was to sell at least 75, but he did not reach his goal. He did not reach his goal of at least 75. And he, but he did so, sold over, over, over the three million mark. Okay. So if we know he sold over the three million mark, and over here it says that he sold under it because this is what what he wanted, what he sold, and this is the three million dollar projection. 
this is incorrect. And that could be said the same for this one right here. Okay. And we know these two are correct, but how can we find between the two? So we know he didn't reach his 57 mark. So we could just circle that one. Because over, over, sorry. Because over here, it says he went over, over his 50, his 57 mark, which was not the case. That's why it's really important to underline the parts of the questions that are crucial of saying maximum, minimum, hit or didn't hit or over or less. These are the really key indicators of how we could answer the problem. And it'll save you a lot of time. All right, on to the next one. Parachi needs between 240 and 260 total feet of fence panels. The home improvement store has 24 short, 6 foot fence panels and 28 long, 8 foot fence panels in stock. Which of the following combination combinations of fence panels could she buy? Okay, 6 short fence panels and 26 fence panels. Alright, so this is how we're going to do We're going to set up an inequality. Alright, so we know that she needs to have between 240 right so anything greater or equal to 240 or anything less than 260 equal or less than 160 so what are the two things they have an eight foot panel and that could be represented as eight foot T and sorry eight foot L and six foot s we add those two together and now we need to find something that could fit in so we'll start plugging in values so let's see let's do the first one six times six plus eight times 26 that would give us 36 and 208 all right if we were to add those two together we would get 244 and that fits our inequality videos so we know that a is correct inequality linear inequalities sometimes can be a little bit difficult but once you get the hang of them you could do them extremely quickly and this will save you a lot of time on the SAT alright guys I hope today's review of system of linear inequality word problems was helpful for you when preparing for the SAT. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you'd like to reach us to us personally, you can join our Discord and message one of our tutors. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button and turn on post notifications for upcoming videos. We'll see you in the next video.